I've been thinking about the good times. I've been sleeping through the long nights. I've been shining in the sunlight. I've been thinking how I'm alright. There's a reason for my feelings. There's a reason why I'm healing. Yeah, I feel higher than the ceiling. All because of you. You and I was so sweet, so sweet. Talking till we asleep, asleep. Every night I fall deep. I don't know if you can see that because it's blending in, but right in the middle of this picture on one of my fence posts, there's a raptor, I think it's probably a hawk. And, oh, there it goes. Just flew off into the tree. We saw it pecking away at something it had killed in our garden about an hour ago. We haven't been down to see if there's a carcass yet. I'm just finishing off this red round of crochet so that I can then start on the quilted lining for this bag. I've had some lovely comments on my blogs in the last few weeks and I know I don't introduce myself properly most of the time when it's a vlogtober there is a little bio of me in my about me on youtube my name is nicola i live in british columbia in canada and as you can probably tell from the accent i am a transplant from the british isles I come from an island called Jersey, which a lot of people haven't heard of because it's so small. It's nine miles by five. And that's where my husband and I were both born and grew up. And my oldest son was born there. And then we emigrated to Canada when he was two. We've been in the house we're in since 95 now. What was nice about the houses, when they were building houses in the 1970s, the lots were big. Our, the lot that our house sits on is a little under half an acre. And that's what sold us on the property, really because we had one child and we were planning to have more when we arrived. It took us six months to figure out which house we wanted to buy. The real estate agent who we had been in touch with since before we came here, and this was before the days of the internet, he must have been tearing his hair out with us by the time we finally decided to buy this house. <laughs> but he was very patient with us. And I'm glad we took the time to make the decision. Because it turned out to be the right one. So with it being a Saturday today, my husband and I went off to have a cup of tea at our favourite tea shop. I decided to have a raspberry matcha latte today, which is very yummy. Because it's green, it feels like it's at least partially healthy. <laughs> and then we picked up some Brussels sprouts and parsnips because we have a potluck at our house tomorrow with friends. But we've been having potlucks with these friends on a monthly basis for years now with barely a break. We've been really, really consistent. And it's always an absolute feast. And we always eat too much because the food is always so good. And they're coming tomorrow for lunch. So, of course, they're going to be bringing a ton of food. And I had to think about my contributions. So what I decided to make was... 
roasted vegetables as a side dish and some sort of apple streusel cake. I haven't looked up a recipe yet, but I do like an apple cake with a crumbly topping. So that's probably what I will make. All right, I'm going to put this bag aside now. I can take this guy off because that was to mark my place when I got to the end of the 24 rounds. And I am going to cut the fabric for the lining and quilt it next. I've been thinking about the good times. I've been sleeping through the long nights. I've been shining in the sunlight. I've been thinking how I'm all right. There's a reason for my feelings. There's a reason why I'm healing. Yeah, I feel higher than the ceiling. All because of you. So sweet, so sweet Talking till we asleep, asleep Every night I fall deep, fall deep But love, yeah But you really get me, get me Make me fall to my knees, my knees Every night I fall deep, fall deep But Catch up on my reading. I should catch up on my eating. Yeah, but it's hard to keep a thought straight with you all up in my face. Try to get you on my mind, but why should I when you're all I really like? Yeah, I feel higher than a mountain, all because of you. You and I were so sweet, so sweet. Talking till we asleep, asleep. Every night I fall deep, fall deep.
Well, rather amusingly, I just filmed all of that work on my bag without actually turning on my ring light. So I had the camera on the ring light tripod and the ring light was plugged in, but it wasn't switched on. So the light's kind of yellowy in here. I've just got the light from the window plus the overhead one and it's not great. So I think I'm going to take a break here because I feel like I have made insanely good progress on this in the last couple of hours. I have got the lining all done. I got it cut, quilted, trimmed to size. I even decided to put magnetic snaps in which coordinate brilliantly with the gold in the fabric. I just knotted and trimmed all the yarn tails because I was not going to weave all those in. I basted the top hem of the lining and so I will hand sew that in because I don't think machining it in would end up being a good result. So I will hand sew that in and then I will figure out how to make the blue vinyl handles after that. They will just be constructed and then sewn on through all the layers of the bag somewhere around here. Um, I did put the plastic canvas in it in the end. I just attached it to the back of the lining in four places at the corners just so that it's not kicking around in there loose and I wondered whether I should put some stitches all the way through the lining the outer and the plastic canvas maybe in the center here to hold it all together but I'll wait and see how it looks I can always do that at the very end if I think it needs it <sighs> so I'm not sure what the time is now, but it feels like it's time to do something different. My cutting table is a disaster. So I think probably a bit of a tidy up and then maybe go upstairs and do a bit of yoga just for the stretching today. And I'll talk to you again later. It's the end of day 21. I just had a nice hot soak in the bath and I slathered myself with the last of my vanilla pumpkin body shop, body butter. I think it's taken me a year to get through this. So I'm smelling very seasonal right now. And I'm gonna sit on the couch for an hour and read my book, which is called The Heights. It's by Louise Candlish. It's okay, not fantastic but it's okay. It's the third of the novels from the current batch from the library. <laughs> I hope you had an awesome day and I'll be back to see you tomorrow. Good night.